Hi guys, you welcome back to the channel. I am Silase Travis. So I'm going to show you how to create a bodice with a yoke as well as a key all on the back of the bodice, okay? And for this project, I will be working with my basic bodice pattern and this is the sleeve block. Now I'm going to start with the back piece and first I'm going to create the neckline for this top. I'm going for a neck width of four inches. So from the center back line, I'm going to mark in four inches. And then I'm going for a neck depth of one inch. From my original neckline, I'm going to mark down quarter of an inch. And then using my French curve, I'm going to connect both points to form the neckline. Now for the yoke, I'm going to first of all mark the mid arm O. And then from the center back, I'm going to mark upward from the bust line, which is also my upper bust line, three quarter of an inch. Now positioning my French curve like so, I'm going to connect both points together to form the yoke. Now to create the key O at the back, I'm going to come down from the new neckline point and then mark three quarter of an inch. And also I'm going to mark down from the new neckline point and mark three and a half inches. Now from this point, I'm going to mark in two and quarter inches, which is going to be the width of my key O. Using my French curve, I'm going to connect these three points together to form the key O. Now, because I want this blouse to be tight fitted, more like the bustier kind of look, I'm going to increase the length of my dart. So when I sew the darts, the neckline of that portion is going to be flat. Now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to contour my side seam by marking in on the AMO half of an inch and then connecting this point to the waistline. So this is going to give me that fitted look which I desire for this blouse, okay? Next, I'm going to close the dart and true my waistline and then I'll go ahead and cut out the yoke and add in my seam allowance to the pattern. So do make sure you add in your zip allowance as well. So guys, I've gone ahead to add in my seam allowance and zip allowance all around the yoke as well as the button piece and this is what my pattern looks like. Okay, so right now let's move over to the front. As I said, I'm going for a contoured look, something that look more like a bustier. So I will be contouring the front bodies as well. Now for the neckline, I'm going for four inches width and five inches depth. So to get the four inches width, I'm going to measure from this point one and a half inches. And then to get the five inches depth, I'm going to measure down from this point two inches. Using my French curve, I'm going to connect both points to form the neckline. Now to create the yoke, I'm going to mark upward from the bust level line at center front one inch. I'll go ahead and mark my mid arm O, which is this point. And then using my French curve, take note on how I position my French curve. I'm going to connect both points to form a sweetheart neckline. And this is what it looks like. Because I'm going for a contour look, I have to contour the front bodies. And I'm doing more contouring on the front bodies because that is where we have the bust. Okay, the rule of thumb is that whenever your style line crosses a contour guideline, you have to make use of that contour guideline. Okay, and that is exactly what I'll be doing observing this three contour guideline. 
so that means i'm going to contour the neckline because the neckline crosses contour guideline one and then because i'm going for a fitted more contoured look i have to contour the side seam and also the under bust so for more information on this you can go watch my video on contouring okay to contour my under bust i'm going to use my bust radius measurement and draw a circle now for the neckline i'm going to be using contour guideline one to contour the neckline um, for more details for more information on this go check out my tutorial on contouring okay now for my under bust i'm going to mark on each side of the dart half of an inch okay so that means i'm taking one inch for from my under bust on this pattern right now but basically you are supposed to take in um, three eighths of an inch but this is me I'm working for my body so I know just how much to take so at this point guys I'm going to go ahead and cut out the yoke and then I'm going to close this dart created by the contour guideline and then redraw my neckline just to true that and I'm going to slip a piece of paper under at this point, tape it down and redraw my lines like so. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and add in my seam allowance. Now for the bottom part, because I want one dart, going to close all the darts created by the contour guideline and also close my bust dart and transfer it to the waist so to transfer all the darts to the waist all i need to do is to slash the center line of the waist darts to the bust point and then close off all the rest darts okay and this is going to transfer the bust dart and the contour dart into the waist darts so at this point i'm going to slip in a piece of paper tape it down and then draw my darts the way i would draw a regular straight dart and once this is done, I'm going to close the dart and true the waistline. And after truing the waistline, I'll go ahead and add in my seam allowance. Right now, I'm going to go back in and come down from the bust point 5 8 of an inch, which is standard if you are joining your bust darts to the waist dart. Now, from this point, I'm going to take my curve ruler and draw a curved line to the point on the under bust and then straight down to the waist line like so. Now, I'm going to fold the dart along the center line of the dart and using my tracing wheel i'm going to trace the outline of the dart onto the other side of the pattern so that both sides of the dart will be identical And here guys this is what the pattern looks like this brings us to the end of this tutorial um, as you can see we ended up with one large dart which is as a result of merging the bust dart to the waist dart including the contour dart okay um, if you are concerned about this what you can do is you can go in and follow the outline of the dart and then trim off 
the excess dart into half inch seam allowance okay um well guys i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you do remember to leave a comment like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye bye